if you are not able to read anything there because uh, so much blur it is if you have some difficulty you tell me you can tell me. Over. Over students, return. Return the problem. Anyone of you reply? Writing, sir. Okay. Okay, just go through the problem. Uh, here the vertical pre-stress is also given. A pre-stressed concrete beam of span 10 meter has a rectangular section of 120 by 300. Is pre-stressed by a curved cable carrying an effective force of 180 kilonewton. Pre-stressing force is given, that is 180 kilonewton. The beam supports a total uniformly distributed load of 5 kilonewton per meter. Okay. It supports a uniform distributed load of 5 kilonewton per meter, which includes the sulfate of the member. No need to calculate the sulfate. It is including sulfate. Okay. Including sulfate, the total load acting on the beam is 5 kilonewton per meter. The beam is additionally pre-stressed by vertical cables. Here you can see vertical pre-stressing is also given. As I said, when whenever the shear force in the beam is found to be uh, higher in that uh, 
the vertical processing will also be given. Uh, the beam is additionally processed by vertical cables importing a stress of 2.5 newton per mm square okay the vertical process is 2.5 newton per mm square and the horizontal process you can calculate it okay this is nothing but fy okay in the previous three problems we used to take fy equal to zero no here that fy value is given vertical process is also given that is 2.5 newton per mm square in the direction of depth of beam in the direction of depth of beam means it is y only y direction only fy only Okay, yeah. estimate estimate the nature of principal stresses developed at the support section. Okay, principal stresses we need to find. Yeah. The cable has zero eccentricity at supports and an eccentricity of 100 mm below the center uh, center of gravity at mid span section. Okay, it is a parabolic cable again. It is a parabolic given. So for the data given, I have written the figure. Uh, you also write it. You write cross section of the beam and uh, sectional elevation cable you show and loading also it is shown and vertical process is also shown here. It is given in the problem vertical process it is 2.5 Newton per mm square. I will write it. Over friends, still writing. Shall we solve now? Finish the writing. Okay. 
Okay, so we can solve the problem. A precious concrete beam of span 10 meter. Span uh, 10 meter it is mentioned in the geometric property only. Uh, span 10 meter has a rectangular section 120 by 300. It is all the geometrical properties it is mentioned. And whatever the load that is also mentioned. Vertical precious also mentioned. Everything is mentioned in the diagram itself. No need to write the given data, right? Everything is mentioned. And that we will solve. So the total load is given. By this, you calculate uh, that factored load solution. Factored load is equal to. See, sometimes uh, this factor load will be calculated. Sometimes for the given load only, uh, the problem will be solved. For both, uh, you will get uh, full marks. Okay, because some authors have did uh, considering the factor load, and some authors have did just whatever the load is given in the problem uh, by taking that load itself, uh, they solve the problem. Okay, in your examination, both cases will be considered. Okay, answer for both the cases without factor load and with factor load, uh, your answers will be considered. No problem with that. Okay, factor load will be equal to 5 kilonewton per meter into 1.5. You will get 7.5. 7.5 kilonewton per meter. And pre-stressing force, you write that is not mentioned. Pre-stressing force pre-stressing force is equal to P is equal to it is given as 180 kilonewton is equal to 180 into 10 power 3 newton. Okay. It is asked to find uh, principal stresses. Sigma uh, max and sigma minimum. Sigma max and sigma minimum. Sir, please show the figure, sir. For a second. You are still writing bigger? Yes, sir. One second. Sir, can you please uh, repeat from the figure, sir? OK. See, uh, the beam dimensions are given. OK, the beam dimensions are it is having 10 meter uh, span and uh, cross section 120 by 300. OK, and the beam is added upon by an UDL of 5 kiloton per meter. That is also mentioned. The beam is additionally pre-stressed by vertical cables importing a stress of 2.5 Newton per mm square. Okay, there is a additional uh, precision steel given in vertical direction, which is uh, imparting a stress of 2.5 Newton per mm square. And nature of the cable is given. Okay, the profile of the cable is also given. The cable has zero eccentricity at supports and 100 mm below the uh, CG at mid span. Okay, very simple thing. Every uh, the data is common uh, as that of. Uh, Previous problem only the thing is additional uh, reinforcement in vertical direction which induces 2.5 Newton per mm square stress is given along with uh, the conventional uh, parameters. Okay. And it is asked to find uh, the principal stresses sigma max and sigma minimum. Okay. We know the formula for sigma max and sigma minimum. You just write it sigma max or Sigma minimum is equal to what is the formula? Fx plus Fy divided by 2 plus or minus half into 
root of fx minus fy whole square plus 4 to v square. Okay. Now one by one you find first fx. What is fx? Stress in horizontal direction due to precessing force. Okay. It will be P by A. It will be P by A. P is 180 into 10 power 3. Area is uh, 120 by 300. How much will get Fx? Tell me the answer. Five. Yes. Five Newton per mm square. Then what else is required? F five. F five. It is directly given. Okay. It is directly given. You can see the beam is additional precessed by vertical cables. Vertical cables imparting a stress of two point five Newton per. Mm square is directly given, write it. F i is equal to 2.5 Newton per mm square. It is given in the problem directly. Okay. Then what we need? We need tau v. Shear stress we need. To find the shear stress, we have the formula. Right? Write that formula. To find tau v, right? To find tau v shear stress, tau v is equal to v u into a y bar divided by i b. Okay. First, what we need? We need a shear force. To find shear force, you write uh, a small figure here. The intensity of load is 7.5 kilonewton per meter. What is the length of the beam? Length of the beam is 10 meter, right? 10, 10 meter. Length of the beam is 10 meter. Therefore, reaction will be W L by 2 is equal to 7.5 into 10 divided by 2. How much will get? Thirty seven point five. Yes, thirty seven point five kilonewton. Okay, which is in upward direction. Reaction. R thirty seven point five into 10 power 3 Newton. Okay. Now you you know you want to calculate the, the shear force. Okay. Shear force at uh, uh, the support section. This shear force is calculated as uh, reactive force or reaction minus uh, the vertical component of the pre-stress. Okay. Vertical component of the pre-stress. Here we have the parabolic cable. I'll write a small diagram here. Okay, we need to calculate P sin theta. Okay. So the total shear force at the support is the combination of reaction due to the external load. Okay. And vertical component of the processing force. Okay, P sin theta. Now P is given. P equal to how much it is given? 180 kilonewton. But sin theta we need. For parabolic cable, sin theta is equal to how? What is the formula? For, for para, parabolic cable, what is 4 the formula? 4e by L. Yes, 4e by L. 4e by L. Yes, 4e by L. 4 into eccentricity is given 100 mm. 
divided by 10,000 mm is the length. You will get sin theta. Sin theta. How much will get? 0.04. Therefore, P sin theta will be equal to P is 180 kilo Newton, 180 into 10 power 3 into 0 0.04 is equal to how much? 7200. 7200 Newton. Okay, this P sin theta is in vertically downward direction. So, downward direction means negative sign. Therefore, net shear force at the support will be reaction that is 37.5 into 10 power 3 Newton minus this P sin theta. Therefore, therefore, VU is equal to 37.5 into 10 power 3 minus 7200. What is the answer? 30300 Newton. 30300 Newton. Okay. Have you understood this part? Finding the reaction VU. Okay, this VU, the all the, uh, the finding the uh, shear force VU will be equal to this shear force VU will be equal to the combination of reaction at the support and vertical component of the pressure force. Reaction at the support is this much, which is in upward direction. If you take vertical component of the pressure force, it will be P sin theta with negative sign. Okay, sin theta for parabolic cable is 4E by L. P sin theta, if you calculate, 7200. So, this reaction minus P sin theta will give shear force at the support. That is 30,300 Newton. Okay. Now, VU we have calculated. Next, we need to calculate AY bar. To calculate AY bar, write the figure. Here we have the neutral axis. Okay. Width of beam is one twenty three by three hundred. One twenty. And 300. And this length will be 150, right? Now you can calculate dy bar, right? Area of shaded portion will be, means moment, we are taking moment of, uh, uh, moment about neutral axis which is uh, uh, moment of the area above the neutral axis and moment of that area about the neutral axis. Okay, moment of area we are taking about the neutral axis and area to be considered is above the neutral axis. So, area into y, uh, area into perpendicular distance, area will be 120 into 150 and distance y bar will be how much this one? It is 150 divided by 150 2. Divided by two. This will be 150 divided by 2 or 75. So we calculate. Therefore, A Y bar is equal to A Y bar is equal to 120 into 150 into 150 divided by 2. How much will get? 1.35 in 10 per second. 1.35 into 10 power 6 mm cube. Okay. Now, in this formula, VU is known, AY bar is known. 
moment of inertia is equal to calculate, you can read it. Moment of inertia is equal to I is equal to BD cube by 12, 120 into 300 cube divided by 12. What is the answer? Two seventy into ten raised per six mm raised per four. Six mm four. Every parameters are one. Just substitute and get the shear stress. Therefore, to V is equal to to V is equal to fx plus fy. Fx is five. Fy is two point five divided by two. Five plus sorry uh, first. So we are calculating no? VU into AY bar. VU is uh, 30,300 Newton. 30,300 Newton into AY bar is 1.35 into 10 power 6 divided by IB 270 into 10 power 6 into B is 120. Width of the B. How much will get to be? Share stress. 1.262 in uh, Newton per m square. Yes. Now you can calculate uh, principal stresses. Therefore, sigma max is equal to fx plus fy divided by 2, that is 1.5 plus 2.5 divided by 2 plus half of fx minus f5 whole square plus 4 to v square half of under root fx minus f5 fx is 5 minus 2.5 whole square plus 4 into 1.262 square by this you will get uh, sigma max Five point two five four Newton per, uh, per mm square. Five point two five. Ah. Five point two five four. Okay, I got five point five. No problem. Yes. Sir, yes. sorry, sir. It is five point five two four. Yes. Even I got same answer. Five point five two. I got. That's why. Okay, 5.5 Newton per mm square. Sigma minimum is equal to 1.97. Uh, 1.97. 5.5 plus 2.5 divided by 2 minus half of root 5 minus 2.5 whole square plus 4 into 1.262 square. Okay, by this we get uh, sigma minimum 1.97, right? 1.98, sir, by doing the round off for 5. Okay. This completes the problem. Okay, very simple problem. Okay, only two, two, I think two uh, formula you need to remember. Very simple problems, very simple procedure. Uh, next, we'll move on to the next problem. Problem number five, right? Write it. Write the problem number five.
for for sorry. writing sir Okay. You go through it. Uh, it is also a, a simple problem. Uh, a pre-stress concrete beam of span 10 meter of rectangular section 120 by 300 is exit. I think uh, same uh, problem I copied. No, no, it is different from only. Uh, dimensions were same. Uh, that's why I got confused. A precise concrete beam uh, of uh, span 10 meter. Length of the uh, beam is given right in the given data solution. L is equal to 10 meter. I think about 10,000 mm. And width is given B is equal to 120 mm and D is equal to 300 mm. Actually, pre stress by a cable carrying effective force of 180 kN. P is given 180 kN. Then the beam supports a total uniformly distributed load of 5 kN per meter. Load UDL is equal to 5 kN per meter okay compare the magnitude of principal tension developed in the beam with and without axial pressures what we have to find is first we have to find uh, principal stresses by considering the axial pressures then we have to find principal stresses without considering the axial pressures then we have to compare the results we have to compare the results that is only the question here okay that is only the question First, we will now uh, there are two cases in problem. First one is uh, finding the principal stresses with considering the axial pressures. Okay, with pressures. Then second case will be without pressures. Okay, first what we will do, we will find uh, the principal stresses with considering the axial pressures. Case one. Case one. Again, in the principal stresses, what he particularly told is principal tension. He told that only I will take here principal tension. Principal tension with axial pressures. With axial pressures. We know the formula. You know the formula sigma max or sigma minimum is equal to fx plus fi divided to plus or minus half of root of fx minus fi whole square plus 4 to v square. Call this is equation number one. Where fx is equal to horizontal pressures 
horizontal free stress is equal to P by A. P is how much? 180 into 10 power 3 Newton. Divided by area is B into D 120 into 300. What is the answer here? 5. Previously we have calculated it already with the same dimension and with the same processing first. It is 5 Newton per mm square. Okay. Then F5 is nothing but vertical free stress. Vertical free stress. Here in this problem, vertical free stress is not given. Okay. Vertical free stress or vertical uh, distribution of the cables, it is not given, it is 0. F5 equal to 0. Okay. Then we need to find uh, tau V to find shear stress to find shear stress tau v we have the formula tau v is equal to vu into ay bar divided by iv okay Calculate VU. 